hello hello guys i'm not gonna say family because a bunch of these other creators in my space do it they're gonna think i'm copying them and plus that's not what i say my alpha <laughs> um what's up guys um what's up bro what's up bro i'm talking to you hello how are you doing anyways i'm pretty sure you guys have seen my video if you're watching this you probably see my video on i think i called it origins of the berbers the neolithic revolution in north africa the neolithic transition in north africa specifically talking about northwestern africa and i have some corrections okay one of my fellow nerds inside of my online community if you peer reviewed he gave me the peer review and um he had some comments to say you know he sent me a, a study that was conducted in 2023 concerning the initiation of the neolithic revolution and basically if you guys have you might want to watch the other video if you want to understand what i'm talking about but there were two different types of cultural diffusions or ways that neolithic culture would have spread in north africa and so this is going to be important because you know i'm going to be talking about how um new information dna studies have confirmed or have like changed what the view was the study that i used for the video before was a 2021 it was a paper from 2021 that took a bunch of the studies and basically put it together in a nice paper you know so i could read it and see exactly how it happened you know through the different time periods how the different practices would have happened and um basically it showed that neolithic uh that neolithic revolution in north africa was initiated by the migration of early european farmers related populations and they know this because of dna studies that they ran the early neolithic site called ktg and later on during the middle neolithic perfectly correlating with the spread of pastoralism in the area they actually found a site where people had some levantine related ancestry so let's dive into it and so basically what we had in north africa was that from the dna study of tafra we know that these were an iberian Mauritian community this uh iberian Mauritian community was the result of a back migration from eurasia sometime during the paleolithic period and there are two sites there's the tafral site and the iam site which was a uh, neolithic site iam and these people were practicing neolithic um culture these people of IAM, but they lived 7,000 years later than the Tafralt individuals. And what they say is that there is a genetic continuity from the upper Paleolithic, that is the Iberian Mauritians of Tafralt, all the way until I believe it's the early Neolithic period where we have the sites of IAM, which were genetically similar to the people of Tafralt. I'll even show you the DNA charts here. However, there was another site that was actually more northerly, I believe, near the Iberian Peninsula where they actually found Found, and it was also an early Neolithic site, which is the site of KTG, where they found that individuals could be modeled as, and I quote, 72% Anatolian Neolithic, 10% Western Hunter Gatherer, and 18% Maghrebi or Iberian Mauritian. These people were early European farmers during the early Neolithic, early Neolithic period who traveled, who likely traveled across the Iberian Peninsula through the Gibraltar Strait into Morocco, into Northwestern Africa, bringing in the Neolithic practices. And so the relationship between them and other people in that time period, the IAM site who were just genetically Northwestern African, would have been sort of a cultural a cultural um, diffusion. But what we do have is the initiation of Neolithic practices you know the spread of it being initiated by the migration of people but what we had happening in northwestern africa was that different communities were living around each other but mixing wasn't happening yet until i believe the late neolithic period we have uh the sites i believe um it's called keb where we actually see the added mixture between the different populations and then for the middle neolithic site of a place called skh and these are all abbreviations guys i can't pronounce these names because I don't speak the languages uh, that these names are named in. You know? But um, these people at this middle Neolithic site were actually modeled as 76% Levant Neolithic and 23% Tafrot related or Iberian Mauritian or Northwest Africa. And so they say that because this Neolithic Levantine ancestry has not been observed on the European side of the Mediterranean during the Neolithic, it probably represents an independent expansion from the Levant into North Africa during the Middle Neolithic period. I'll leave the time periods if you guys are confused. And what they actually say is because they see some Levant related ancestry 
both in Northwestern Africa and in Eastern African Neolithic pastoralists, what they say is that they can associate the spread of pastoralism in Africa with Levantine-related population. Or what the claim of this paper is, is what they say is that our results show ancestry shifts in the Neolith Neolithization of Northwestern Africa that probably mirrored the heterogeneous economic and cultural landscape and multifaceted process than observed in other areas. So what we can tell is that there was the spread of Neolithic practices. It very much involved um, demic diffusion, the migration of different peoples, but it would have had some elements of cultural diffusion as would have been mentioned in the other videos. And for the case of Eastern Africa, you can actually see my video on that, the um, pastoralist Neolithic culture, the Kenyan pastoralist Neolithic culture, which I'll probably have pop up here or maybe on a card or maybe um, I'll have it inside of the uh, description below or maybe have it pop up at the end of this video if you are interested but yeah so basically what we can see is that we had a population of um, northwestern African forager populations the Iberian Mauritians then we had early European Neolithic farmers coming in during the early Neolithic period sharing some of this uh, Neolithic and spreading some of the Neolithic practices into the area later on we have like a complete admixture by the late Neolithic period but also during the middle Neolithic period we also had the migration of people from the Levant bringing in pastoralism into northwestern Africa and we can see this with the DNA evidence from this study and so what we can definitely see is that a lot of this was initiated by demic diffusion so this is the correction that I had to make if you guys have any critiques or anything you guys want to let me know anything I may have missed anything I could be more on point about you can let me know in the comment section below and it would be greatly appreciated